What up guys, LB Effect here, back again with another Vans review. Today, taking a look at the authentic VLTLX from the latest Vans Vault Jown collab. Colorways True White, size 13, and retail on these was 105. Comes in this pretty straightforward, super simple white clamshell box here with your chrome hits throughout, drop V logo on the front, Jown hit on the side, and the vault hit on the top. Pretty straightforward. Does also come with some somewhat unique tissue paper here, this brown tissue that kind of matches the little flag on the side of the shoes, which is cool. So I've already shown you guys the skate mids from this collection here. Uh, still probably my favorite of the three, but the authentic close second authentic is my favorite silhouette. So you guys know I had to cop this one. This collection releasing with three different silhouettes, all featuring the same colorway and essentially the same makeup. The skate mid was a little different because of course it had some suede on it, but otherwise just like the true white upper with the off-white, almost like cream outsole. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. Definitely a very jowned forward aesthetic on these. Um, I mean, you guys would probably call this a jowned shoe without even knowing it was a jowned shoe. So. You know, I think they, they hit the mark on that. Doesn't seem to be a very popular Jown collection from the buzz that I've been hearing around the, the different forms. Uh, you know, I, I think it, it's a very appropriate colorway for what the collab is. You know, Jown is a very simplistic, uh, minimalistic design. Justin Saunders loves to do these like straightforward, usually pretty earthy tones, but very sophisticated for sure. Um, I think this shoe really speaks on that. This featuring a very simple canvas upper here. There's really not a whole lot to this shoe. Um, I think the color combo is really what makes this shoe unique. The True White with this like very heavy cream midsole is a, is a very unique combination. Um, and I dig it. I don't know. It works for me. I'm not, I never was a white shoe fan. Uh, and I'm still kind of getting used to it, but you know, some things change and uh, I feel like I can really appreciate these now. So uh, nevertheless, you do have this little beige Vans flag on the side there. And then on the reverse, you got the down hit. As I mentioned, it matches that tissue paper in the inside of the box, which is pretty cool. You got the metal eyelets, the silver metal eyelets on the side here with these white rope laces. That's definitely a, a unique aspect of the shoe as well. And they're kind of like a really thin, uh, a lot smaller rope style lace than what we typically see with Vans. You got your jown little hang tag on the side here, this little sticker. Uh, another little detail on here that does make these unique is the addition of these metal aglets, which they're really short for some reason. Not like your typical aglet length, but yeah, you get these on there to match those eyelets. On the interior of the shoe here, we do have a pretty basic VLT style insole here, which is gonna be vinyl lined with a vault hit on the bottom. The VLT silhouettes feature these like uh, foam style removable soles, which in my opinion is what makes VLT VLT. It's, it's all in this, this like insole. And then I guess the midsole as well. Although this one seems to kind of blend the lines a little bit because it does kind of give me OG vibes, um, but I guess it might be like a little bit thicker. It doesn't come up quite as much around the toe like the OGs do, but nevertheless, I think really what makes VLT is just these insoles in here. So if you guys haven't already tried the VLTs, as I mentioned in the skate mid video, I highly recommend it, recommend it, because they are super comfortable. Um, the Authentics here, definitely meeting the mark. Really love the fit on these. You do have the quad stitching on the heel, which is uh, unique to, to see on the VLT, I guess, because this is typically like the OG makeup or even like the Anaheim factory makeup. You got your off the wall skateboard on the heel, of course, and then the matching outsole here with this like heavy cream color. So in Jown fashion, these are really not gonna be branded uh, essentially at all, except for underneath that flag here. This is the only Jown branding you're gonna see on this shoe. Otherwise, pretty straightforward. 
This seemed to be the most popular shoe in this collection of three. Uh, I'm not sure why that was uh, because I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Like as I mentioned before, I felt like the most unique might have been the Skate Mid, but I guess that's just my uh, my bias on that. But yeah, these ones, I guess, were the most popular. They are still available at select shops. There were a handful of shops outside of Jown that actually received this collection. Some of them being End, Sneakers and Stuff, Union, Dover Street Market. Uh, that's just to name a few. There are probably a couple others out there, but this collection released in a somewhat similar fashion as the last where they released on the Jam website first and foremost on July 20th and then a week later July 28th is where they released them at select vault retailers so uh, they actually also dropped on the Vans website which was a trip for sure uh, this is, I mean a Jam vault collab releasing on the vault we uh, the Vans website I mean who would have saw that coming you know but yeah, I mean, these things are not the hardest to come by at this point. You guys could probably still find these on even the John website. I think they've been sitting there. Whether they have the most stock or they're just not being picked up, I have no idea. But um, yeah, you guys can cop these with ease on the John website. So go ahead and check it out. 105 bucks, a little bit steep for a Canvas Authentic. Definitely, I don't agree with the... The price on these but you know it's a dope shoe so you know i gotta cop it regardless but jound is a it's a name you know people people want the name so anyways there you guys have it a very if you know you know kind of shoe and i hope you guys enjoy the review be sure to stay tuned for the on feet